Hello, everyone, and welcome back. Uh, my name is Mr. Kovalt, and today we are going to go over uh, atomic elements and molecular elements. Okay, so uh, I want to clarify uh, this distinction between an element and a molecule and a compound. Okay, so um, what I have written here on the board is kind of a, a, a classification, if you will, a dividing or parsing of uh, pure substances. If you remember from an er uh, earlier video, I uh, did a parsing of matter. Matter was divided into pure substances and mixtures. And then each of those categories were divided into further categories or subcategories. So the uh, pure substances were divided into elements and compounds. And uh, the mixtures were divided into uh, uh, homogeneous mixtures and heterogeneous uh, mixtures. So um, here we're going to focus on the pure substances. So you'll see that pure substances are once again divided into elements and compounds and you'll remember that an element is basically anything that's found on the periodic table. And elements are uh, substances that can only that cannot be broken down into more simpler substances you can't get anything different from them um, so that's going to be uh, your elements compounds are substances that can be broken down into simpler substances and so i'll go over examples of each of those so if you look at elements elements are broken down into atomic elements and molecular elements. Um, so atomic elements are elements that exist only as single atoms. So they, they're single atoms here, and so that's the way they exist in nature. So an example of that would be neon. Neon is, uh, exists only as single atoms in nature. You don't find them as molecules. So you only get atoms. Uh, molecular elements are elements that exist as molecules. And if you remember, a molecule is a, um, is a substance that is made up of more than one atom. And they don't have to be uh, the same, they don't have to be different atoms. So you can have the same atom bonded to each other and that would be a molecule. It's not a compound. But it is a molecule and we got to make sure we keep that distinction in mind. So again, compounds are substances that are made up of more than one element. Okay, so you have to have different kinds of elements to form a compound. A molecule is made up of more than one atom and the atoms can be the same element of the same element. So an example of this would be oxygen. Oxygen has two oxygen atoms bonded together, and they exist as two atoms bonded together. And so we write that as O2. And so that is a molecule. So, but it's still an element because you only have one type of atom. So you can't break this down and get a different substance or a simpler substance. The simpler the simplest is just oxygen, okay? So that is your molecular, uh, your molecular elements. And the thing to keep in mind is that most, most of your uh, elements don't exist as, uh, as uh, diatomic molecular elements. So here are the ones that you need to know. So the diatomic elements, diatomic meaning two atoms, um, are there's seven of them hydrogen, nitrogen, oxygen, chlorine, fluorine, bromine? Oops, that should be a two there. Bromine and iodine. So, those are the seven diatomic two, two uh, atoms in your molecule. Um, we have two others that uh, form different compounds. So sulfur, I'm sorry, uh, different mo molecules. So sulfur is an element that exists as eight sulfur atoms bonded together. And this is uh, usually a cyclical ring. So it's, it's bonded, eight, eight atoms of sulfur bonded in a ring. Uh, 
So uh, that would be sulfur, and then phosphorus is bonded in four. So usually that's going to be a molecule of four phosphorus atoms. This is going to be a molecule of eight sulfur atoms. So all of these are molecular uh, elements. And then you remember that uh, compounds are broken down into molecular and ionic compounds. So molecular compounds, again, are going to be molecules. H2O is a, a molecular compound. And again, you have uh, more than one atom, but they are different types of atoms. So that's what makes this a compound and not merely a molecule. But it is a molecule as well. So here we have a molecule that is a compound. Here we have a molecule that is an element. So uh, make sure you don't confuse the distinction or confuse molecules and compounds. They are distinct things. Um, and then you have your ionic substance. And again, your ionic substance is created, creates a, a lattice structure of alternating plus minus charge. Um, if you can't see, you might notice that all the larger ions are negative and the smaller ones are positive. Um, you can think about why that is. Go back to um, how those ions are formed and why would the negative be larger than the positive. We will actually cover this in a later video, but you might want to think about it now. Um, and so here, um, we don't have a molecule, but we have what is called a formula unit. We don't talk about, we don't use the term molecules with ionic compounds. Instead, we use formula units. And the formula unit is always the empirical formula. And if you remember from the last video, uh, the empirical formula is the formula that shows the, the atoms that are involved in the lowest whole number ratio. So in this case, for sodium chloride, it's one to one. But you can see from the lattice structure, there's a lot more than just one uh, sodium ion and one chloride ion. So this is, this is a crystal that has hundreds and thousands of these ions together. But we don't want to write all of that out in our formula. So we just use a simple uh, low whole number ratio. So one to one for sodium chloride. Okay, so we talk about formula units for ionic substances. We talk about molecules with any substance that has more than one atom bonded together by covalent bonds. And then we talk about atoms, uh, things that are just um, atoms that are not bonded together. So this is a, um, uh, uh, this is a picture of what or how uh, the substances are divided. I hope this is helpful in making this distinction, and I hope you enjoyed the video. Again, if you uh, like the video, like the video, um, share it with your friends, subscribe to the channel, and make a comment down in the comment section. So ask me questions or you know, let me know if you like the video or not. Um, how can I improve? What would you like to know? Um, and also ring the note bell. Uh, hit the bell notification so you can get um, notifications for when I put out new videos. Thank you for joining me and I will see you guys next time.